Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, golden uh, square DEFG fully inscribed uh, in a triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, triangle uh, ABC is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this angle uh, theta equals to this angle theta as well. And moreover, the area of this uh, triangle ABC is uh, 540 square units. And furthermore, uh, this uh, length uh, AB of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, 36 uh, units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, golden square DEFG. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Uh, since we have been given the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC as uh, 540, and the base uh, of this triangle uh, ABC is uh, 36 uh, units. And now we are interested in calculating the height uh, of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half uh, times a base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, our area is uh, 540 and the base uh, is uh, 36. Let me call the height uh, of this triangle ABC as uh, lowercase h. And now we are going to find the value of uh, h. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Area of the triangle is 540 is going to be equal to a half times base is 36 times our height is lowercase h. Now let's go ahead and simplify the right hand sides. Let's divide both sides by 18 to isolate h. This 18 and 18 is gone. So therefore our height h turns out to be 30 units and here's our next step i have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, cp as you can see over here and now let's recall a crucial effect if we have an isosceles uh, triangle as you can see over here because these uh, two side lengths are congruent and angles are congruent uh, as well if we drop uh, a perpendicular over here then uh, this uh, segment uh, is going to be equal to this uh, segment. In other words, uh, this perpendicular divides this base uh, into two equal parts. So therefore, according to this fact, uh, this uh, length uh, dt is going to be equal to this uh, segment length uh, tg. And likewise, uh, this uh, ep length is going to be pf length. If I call uh, this uh, dt length uh, as uh, x, then this uh, TG length is going to be X uh, as well. And likewise, uh, this EP length is going to be X uh, and uh, PF length is going to be X uh, as well. And furthermore, if this whole uh, length uh, AB is uh, 36, then this uh, AP length uh, is going to be half of that one is going to be 18 and likewise, uh, PB length is going to be 18 uh, units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side length uh, of this square, this side length uh, DG is going to be X uh, plus X uh, is going to give us uh, 2X. If this uh, side length uh, is uh, 2X, uh, then uh, this side length is going to be 2 times uh, X as well. Likewise, this side length is going to be 2 times x uh, as well since we are dealing with this uh, square. And now we can see that this uh, whole uh, AP length uh, is uh, 18 and this uh, AP length uh, is uh, x. Then this uh, AE length is going to be 18 minus uh, x. And now we can see that this uh, right triangle uh, DEA is uh, similar to this uh, bigger right triangle uh, CPA according to angle angle similarity theorem. Since both of these uh, triangles uh, are uh, 90 degrees each, 
if this angle is theta then this angle has got to be theta as well since they are corresponding uh, angles likewise if this angle is our angle alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well since they are corresponding angles as well so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words uh, the ratio of this uh, d e and this uh, a e let me write down uh, d e divided by a e is uh, going to be equal to the ratio of this uh, length uh, c p and this uh, length uh, a p let me write down uh, c p divided by a p and now we can see that our d e length uh, is uh, 2x a e length uh, is uh, 18 uh, minus uh, x and this uh, c p length uh, is the height uh, of this uh, triangle abc which is uh, 30 so i can replace this one by 30 units and finally this uh, a p length uh, is uh, 18 as you can see over here so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we got uh, 2 x uh, divided by a e is uh, 18 uh, minus x equals to 30 divided by 18 and now we can see 30 divided by 18 could be reduced to 5 divided by 3 let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so therefore we are going to have a uh, 6x uh, equals to 90 minus uh, 5x now let's go ahead and add uh, 5x on both sides this is gone so on the left hand side 6x plus 5x is going to become 11x equals to 90. Let's divide both sides by 11. So this 11, 11 is gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be 90 divided by 11 units. So thus our x value turns out to be 90 divided by 11. And now we can see the side length of this square is 2 times x. As I wrote down over here, the side length of the square equals to 2 times x. So therefore, we are going to have a 2 times our x value is 90 divided by 11. So if we multiply, that is going to give us 180 divided by 11 units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, golden square and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s uh, represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length of the square is 180 divided by 11 so therefore the area of uh, this uh, square is going to be simply 180 divided by 11 uh, whole uh, square and if we simplify the right hand side the area of uh, this uh, golden square turns out to be approximately equal to 267.8 square units so thus the area of this uh, golden square turns out to be 267.8 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye